Hi, I'm Mark Zippet, Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss an outstanding example of figural redware that we'll be selling in our spring 2022 auction. This Preacher and the Bear sculpture was made at the John H. Parker Pottery in Columbia County, Pennsylvania, um, sometime during the 1850s or 1870s. You can see it's extraordinary in its depiction of two figures on the same form. And as well for its size and its glaze. This piece may be inspired by a song from the 19th century called The Preacher and the Bear. In the early 20th century there was a song that was published by that same name um, by a folk artist, a uh, folk singer. But um, it's possible that that song has its basis in a much earlier American song. We can see that this figure here has a distinctive preacher's cap. Even related to the preacher men figures in stoneware from Alabama that were made a little bit later. He's got this wonderful facial expression where he's actually sticking his tongue out at the bear, kind of goading him. And they're in this dynamic position, facing each other on either side of a tree stump. And you can imagine them kind of chasing each other around this stump. The stump here is hollowed and it may have served as some sort of vase, a match safe something to hold pipes or what have you. The glaze is remarkable in that we see a typical orange, iron rich, redware clay that's been colored with a dipped yellowish slip on the preacher figure and a dipped gunmetal manganese slip on the bear. And that glaze even, you can see, extends onto the stump. And then we have lighter manganese highlights to the preacher and to the base. And then the entire piece is covered in a clear lead glaze. It's very interesting how the glaze took on this example, the lead application. Um, you can see is heavier on the figure. On the bear, as I said, it's almost like a gunmetal glaze. It's a little more matte. It has this wonderful metallic appearance to it. As with a lot of these figures, which are primarily dogs, if we're talking about Pennsylvania Redware sculpture, we see stamp decoration. So stamp circles on the hat and stamp circles on the figure's collar. Stamp decoration on his coat forming the buttons. And then the base, as is typical of pieces of this style, we have impressed rosettes around the border. Also surrounding the base of the stump. As well as impressed and incised flowers emanating between the figure's legs. As is the case with some of the better, larger figures, we have a rattle on the inside. Little pieces of clay were added to the interior. So it becomes somewhat of a toy in that sense. This piece is documented and illustrated in Jeanette Lasansky's book on Central Pennsylvania Redware. 
and it's firmly attributed to the Parker pottery. You can see the size is really just extraordinary. Much larger than most of the figures of this style known, which, as I said, are typically dogs. I've seen some other bears. Of course, there are a decent number of other bear figures around. Those are typically much smaller, somewhere around this tall. This piece survives in excellent condition, and you can see its unrestored condition in one photo in Lasansky's book. Uh, later on, it had some small restorations to a chip on the hat and a chip on the base right here. Very minor restoration to the ear tips and minor restoration to glaze flaking on the bear. Really survives in remarkable condition, and it's amazing that it is still uh, survives unbroken with both figures attached to the base considering the size and fragility of this piece. This is one of the true icons of American redware folk sculpture and I can only think of a couple pieces namely the Bell's Lions and the Anthony Bacher Goat that really rival it. And We're very excited to bring this to you for our spring 2022 auction.